What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today I have the Tamiya Super Quad Buster. Now, some of you guys, if you're new to the hobby or whatever, you don't know what this truck is or whatever, but this thing came out, the Quad Buster came out like in 1987. And uh, my friend's dad bought one around that same time period. And I'm gonna be picking that one up here soon. I'm gonna see if I can get it today. And that's gonna be another one. So I might be doing a restoration on the OG Quad Buster and also be putting together this Super Cloud Buster. So I want, if you guys have parts or what have you on the original Cloud Buster, definitely uh, leave a comment down below. Um, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and I wanna try and, it, since it's my buddy's dad, I wanna try to get that thing up and running before Father's Day would be really cool. So anyway, I wanna do a build series potentially on this one alongside the original one. You guys can leave comments down below tell me what you think of it. But anyway, I want to go ahead and get into this thing. This thing's sealed up. We do carry these too, so I'll put a link in the description below. These things fly off the shelf. When, when anytime we get them in, they're gone. So they're still really popular. Lots of upgrades that you can do to it. Plenty of videos out there of these things kicking some butt as far as... They're pretty cool because they're motor on axle. So a lot of that weight is on the actual axles, not in the truck and all that suspension, you know, as far as in the truck itself. Uh, so it definitely is a cool setup. Uh, I mean, so anyway, let's get into this thing, take a look at it, see what it comes with. All right, I wanted to show you guys the comparison of tires. So these are obviously a one-tenth scale tire. These are a one-eighth scale tire. These are off the actual Arma Creighton, the version six or I'm sorry, the version four, 6S. So yeah, these things, like that tire is just a little bit taller. It's probably because it's got foam in it and everything kind of pushes it up a little bit more. But anyway, that tire is pretty beefy. So there you go, I mean, one tenth scale tire. These things are cool. I like that Chevron style type of tread pattern. Cool on that. I'm gonna probably get these things in some oil. I'll probably need to throw them in WD-40 or so like that. They got the little white powdery kind of stuff on them. And maybe it'll make them a little bit softer too so they won't be as bouncy. I think I was kind of looking at some stuff online in regards to it too. So if you guys have one of these, had one of these, and you have some tips, tricks, definitely leave them down below. I'll be happy to read them, that's for sure. You got our bumpers and stuff like that. Some chrome stuff on there, so it's cool. Uh, the body, it's cool because, I mean, you have to paint it from the outside. So it's not one of those where you paint it, spray paint it from the inside. This one, you know, it's a hard ABS plastic body top on there. I definitely like the Super Cloud Buster, how it's inside here as well. It's pretty cool. I like that. Definitely digging it. Um, this is for the top here. And then this goes on. I believe this, yeah, this thing this goes on top. Looks like it goes on top. Something like that. We'll have to see because I got to put it together. So um, your motors, these are 540 cans that are here. Mm -hmm. I know there's lots of upgrades for this truck. I've already been watching quite a few videos on it, but I'm gonna keep it pretty stock for now. Uh, a lot of bushings. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that to bearings. They give you a few bearings that are in here. Nothing, nothing not a lot of them, that's for sure. But uh, definitely lots of little parts in there. It looks like some glue, or not glue, probably uh, diff grease and stuff like that that's in there. Chrome rims, not a big fan of chrome, but uh, for this, I mean, as far as for back in the day, chrome was definitely a thing. And, you know, I'll definitely do the chrome for now. Definitely. I like it. Tool. So I'll have to see what all these little parts are. But anyway, I just want to show you that one. This kind of reminds me of RPM stuff for whatever reason. But uh, but it's it looks kind of purple, even though it's kind of blue. It has kind of a purple look to it. Uh all kinds of yeah all kinds of pieces in here for transmission so i'm liking it tailgate that's on there as well and then all your little light buckets for the top that i mean that's why you won't want to jump this thing because you don't want to break all your light buckets right off of there now i don't think these things are capable of any kind of you guys can let me know on that one if they're capable of i mean i'm sure you could put your own uh, LEDs in it and everything like that. So that'll go right up in there on the inside of it. Digging it, digging it. I like it. Uh, but yeah, when I first got this RC car today, man, it just brought back a lot of memories. And I was like, oh man. So that's why I got with my buddy. I was like, hey, I told him that I was getting one of these anyhow. And I said, you know, if his dad wanted to get one as well. But we decided we're going to go ahead and restore the one he's got. 
Now, here's another thing too. I want to wonder if his was the 1987 version, the Claude Buster, that has the Chevy bow tie in the center. That'd be cool. If he has that one, like, oh man, that is definitely one to keep. Because I think they only did that in one year and they gave up the license for the, you know, having, you know, the Chevy symbol on there and everything like that. So, and stickers. You know how much I don't like stickers, but we'll see. These stickers, there's not a lot of them like on my GT4s. You know, they're definitely that 80s style, like Super Mario Brother kind of style. That's where it all started, man. Roots right here. So anyway, that is that for now. This might have been a little bit long video, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, let me know. You guys want to see a build uh, series on this thing or not, or just want to put it together and, and run it. But anyway, until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching. Also, check out OMGRC.com for all your hobby goodness and pick up one of these. Uh, these things go quick, so you might have to wait a little bit on it. But anyway, when they do come in stock, definitely want to get one of these things. They're cool. So until next time, it's Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching.